Good night, Rome. Good night to our Rome with all your garrisons and your streets that have become as loveless as empty barracks. For you I will not weep. After all your senators who made the deals to keep the last last and the first bored and lost in ennui govern the burning ruins of the human city which has evicted all the true news writers and used the electorate as a weapon with unforgiving recoil which guarantees that the bottom will stay at the bottom and dance at to the music of the midnight carousel. Now the, that the middleman has been cast to the prairie grass with his own middle cut away, his fate was decided over lunch. <laughs> The legal apparatus has fallen from its hinges, leaving only the greatest felony unnamed. And who are our neighbors when you're sentenced to the four-year winter hotel? Mm. Will they be the nameless ghosts evicted from their bodies by those who are afforded the right to escape the tombs? With kept wives and cheap furs and <coughs> Upper East Side penthouses? And in all those apartments, all the beautiful people washed down oxycotton with fine wine while bitching about the junkie below. <laughs> uh, send the cops to clean up the drug problem, they cry. All addiction should come with a script. This is the reason I've chosen the ghetto in the city of the heart, where the original felony still hangs in the air thousands of years old. That is, never hand over all your true loves to be crucified by the wolves that who that who forever will sniff around my door, never stopping, <clears throat> never stopping at all for, I'm sorry, Jesus Christ. <laughs> looking, uh, looking <laughs> to uh, sniff around the doorways, uh, oh, to sniff around everyone's doorways. It is preferable this way to living in a gated community where the newspapers, the television sets, and computers are, still, are the only umbilical cords to the world outside their guard's watchful eye. It takes a truly trained country with few alternatives to put a knife to its own throat or hand it over to an orange buffoon with a poor haircut who lines his bets on what con will turn the American heart into just another death theater where it was all just a show of shows. And when the decision is made, the worst is chosen. The decision has certainly been made. For what other country chooses a landlord so crooked all self-respecting cons walk past him, never stopping at all for the fear he will pick their pockets clean, for he is the biggest con of all, who now has to be as who has now to do an honest man's job. Those he loved the least ignored the, all the papers who for once didn't celebrate the game of chance but cried with the urgency of a siren during an air raid to pick the other. While he spoke as one of the mob, he has sold them all, he has sold them all out <laughs> in a landlord's wet dream. But one, des but one desperate night soon, he can expect nothing in the end but to stand on the stairs or escalator with all your senators, uh, when all your senators approach smiling with drawn knives. E two sessions. <laughs> <laughs>